This is the DJI Mini 3. It's DJI's newest compact beginner drone that is not only lightweight, but powerful. So today, we're going to be doing a deep dive on what this thing can actually do. So this is the DJI Mini 3. And apart from how good it looks, this thing is absolutely amazing. With its one over 1.3 inch sensor, it can shoot 4K at 30 FPS, 2.7K at 60 FPS, and Full HD at again 60 FPS. I would have really liked to have some higher frame rate options for those nice slow-mo shots, but to be honest, this is one of its only downsides. It also has an f1.7 aperture, which supposedly makes it good at shooting in low light, but I don't really ever use this feature, so I can't personally say how well it performs. It's capable of shooting up to 48 megapixel photos as updated with recent firmware. However, it only has a 12 megapixel camera and uses some clever techniques to upscale to 48 megapixels. Moving on to the gimbal, we have a standard 3 axis setup. However, the new gimbal design allows for up to 60 degrees of upward tilt, giving the ability to shoot super unique low angle shots. This new design also gives you the ability to shoot true vertical video, which removes the need for cropping to record vertical content. Overall, these new features make it easy for creators on the go who want to easily capture stunning content. Moving away from the camera, we have a sub 250 gram drone, which is good for certain drone regulations, along with 38 minutes of flight time using the standard battery. However, if you use the Intelligent Flight Battery Plus, you can get up to 51 minutes of flight time. It's important to note that this bigger battery causes the drone to weigh over 250 grams. Along with this, these times are tested in controlled environments, meaning it will probably differ from what you actually experience. Moving to speed, this drone can travel up to 35 miles an hour, which is considerably fast for how small this thing is. It also boasts up to 24 miles an hour of wind resistance. There are definitely many occasions in which I've used this drone in wind, and i found that as long as you're below 10 to 15 miles an hour, it seems to perform pretty smoothly. However, one drawback of this drone is that you only have a downward sensing system, meaning you are losing many of those obstacle avoidance features like seeing on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. However, as long as you fly safe and practice proper safety protocols, you should be able to avoid most accidents. I've only crashed this drone a few times, and for the most part, it stayed intact. Besides a few propeller replacements, I've only had to send it in one time be repaired as a result of dropping it on its back from 10 feet up on a wood floor. For the record, I would not recommend doing that. I also wouldn't recommend flying this thing indoors, so let's just say I learned that the hard way. Moving on to intelligent features, this thing can perform many of the quick shots we see on other drones, such as Droney, Helix, Rocket, Circle, and Boomerang. Another drawback though is the lack of active track, meaning the drone is incapable of tracking a subject through a scene. This is most likely because there are no sensing systems except downward, meaning it can't avoid obstacles. And as we see on all DJI drones that I know of, this thing has return to home features. Meaning if you get lost or lose signal, the drone can return home. Transmission wise, the drone can transmit a 720-30fps image back to controller and is said to be able to travel around 6 miles without losing signal. However, again, these numbers are achieved only in perfect conditions, and you're most likely going to see much lower numbers than that. It really just depends on the interference in your location. These are the majority of the specs of the DJI Mini 3, and to be completely honest, for being my first camera drone, it gets the job done and can shoot absolutely stunning footage. Another great thing is that I can just pull the drone right out of the bag, and within a minute, I'm in the air. So overall, this drone is pretty amazing for its size and weight. DJI never fails to impress, even with the many versions of their products. Anyways, I hope that this video helped you learn more about the DJI Mini 3 and what it really has to offer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.